One of today's missions, fit this into this and attach that. Gotta knock these studs out first. Don't know how easy that's gonna be, so that's where I'm gonna start, and then I'm gonna start mocking things up, see if I have to do any type of cutting and adjustment to be able to get this in. So I've got this all stripped down. These bolts were a bit of a pain to get out. I didn't realize that there's little, it's kind of spot welded on the back of it. But brake pedals out, all that sort of stuff, so now, I'm gonna start going and trying to fit things up. I do believe that this is gonna to be too long, so I wanna keep this end, but I'm going to uh, chip away at this end. Hopefully it works. If not, uh, then we're gonna to have to go back to the drawing board and try something else. Did some measuring, it's off by a little bit. I think it probably have to cut more than this off, but I just wanna do it bit by bit, so I make sure that I don't cut too much off because then I gotta mess around and try to weld things back on. So, this has become a lot more intense than I thought it would. And it's making me realize maybe I put the cart before the horse a little bit and I should have actually done this whole part of things as far as installing the brake lever prior to doing wiring. The challenge being is that I'm taking two cars and I'm trying to combine them together without buying a whole bunch of aftermarket parts. I'm trying to make use of what I've got. And obviously the spaces themselves are different. Um, what was in the truck is obviously gonna be a little bit different than the car in terms of the dimensions and stuff like that. So what I've realized is that when I mounted the steering column, I mounted it too far back. By moving it a little bit forward, I'm gonna give my brake the throw that it needs. So it's been a couple hours of hacking. Ah, hacking's not the word, figuring. It's been some couple hours of figuring. Got my cardboard template here. Got my brake booster here. Got my holes drilled over here. So what I wanna do is just line up everything here so I can drill my center hole so that I can mount the booster and see how things hook up. And there you have it, one brake booster mounted to the firewall. That was interesting. I had, there was a lot of staring, a lot of considering, and maybe a little bit of grumbling because it wasn't easy to put a square body brake system into a Bel Air car. Now I still have to get our uh, service door or whatever you want to call this back in there so this isn't on completely tight right now but the brake pedal is in it works all is good uh, steering wheel is back up on the jack stand because i had to make a different bracket for um this side there's a lot going on under the dash now and i want to make sure that everything is done right brackets are modified to hold the steering column on I lengthened this guy because my bolt was going to go through and hit the bottom of my light switch. That's all done. Everything is nice and sturdy. Nothing is going anywhere. Now, the next step up is to get the gas pedal in. There's a piece of a chunk of metal that was sticking up from here 
before I cut that off because there was no way that was gonna work. Now I've ended up with this hole underneath because there was a grommet there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to very carefully tack a piece of metal in there. It's got a little piece installed there to fill in that gap. I also noticed that there were two screws that were down here that I didn't take up before I did the floor, so I just had to grind them down. Um, one thing that's interesting to note though is that the combination of Raptor liner and lizard skin is extremely tough. And there we go. After a bunch of messing around, the gas pedal is in. I had to really modify this bracket here, although I really don't think I need this top spot. Um, I think that was something for the cruise control attachment or something like that on there, but I left it on there just for the hell of it. Why not? I wasn't sure. Also, my gas pedal is busted. I'm gonna have to go and grab a new one, but at least we've got things lined up moves back and forth. They're nice. Next up, shocks. That might be an interesting challenge. We decided to go with the ones that have helper springs. They're load adjusting actually. And the reason for that is I want to know that we've got something good in the back for towing because there's a lot of weight that gets put on the trailer and the clearance between the wheel wells and the tires that are on the car now are pretty small. So if it ends up crouching, we're gonna hit the tires for sure. So I'm gonna start off with the front and I'll work my way to the back. Apparently because of the springs that are in them, it may raise the car up even a little bit more. So can't complain there as long as it looks okay. Fronts, rears. I'm gonna go after these guys first just because I think it'll be an easier job. They did not come with any hardware though, which is no fun. So I'm going to have to poke around and see if I've got anything here. I imagine I do have something. Got them both on there. It's hard to say, or hard to tell, but I think it's probably sitting up a little bit higher than it was because of those springs, which is cool. So now on to the back, like I was saying earlier, this is gonna be the challenge here. So we'll get these guys hooked up and see what kind of difference it makes. Got this shock on, driver's side. Get my light out here, you can see. There's a, just enough clearance. But what I wanted to show, which was really interesting, and it might be hard to see on video like this, but you look at how the car is sitting on this side. And if you go over to the other side, because you still have to put the passenger spring on, you can kind of see how much it's sagging in the back there. It's not as perceptible standing here. I don't know if it'll be that easy to tell on screen, but they're gonna make a big, big, big difference for sure. And I've got both rear shocks on, car sitting back on the ground. Very happy with how things have turned out. It's looking good to me. Car sits way better than it did before. Definitely back to being even. Very little movement. I don't think it went up quite as much as we uh, had anticipated, which is fine, as long as those springs keep it from sagging in the back. So that's it for this episode. Lots accomplished. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.